Hey, why are you burning the dead? Don't you fear the gods? Their souls will be forever cursed. I'm sorry to do it, but I have no choice in this. The gods themselves have afflicted us with a pestilence. The dead must be burned to save the living. What pestilence? Is there a plague? Truly, I don't know. Elders have begun falling sick. Children have died clutching their bellies in agony as their parents watch on, lifeless in their beds. This would be cruel, even for the angriest of gods. No one cares about us. Any help would be appreciated. In the Fayum, the poor aren't worth spit. <laughs> What? My children, your hunger is known. Turn to Sobek for your nourishment. Sobek has provided a way. Though the food is humble, it gives life. Eat with thanksgiving and trust in he who is pointed of teeth. The Lord of Waters may take our souls, but we will all rejoice in the field of reeds. The splashing one who came from the great goddess, he who made the herbage green, Lord of the Nile, Dua Sobek. Another dead farmer and no family will now lose their the land. Body. They used to eat at the arms kitchen in the market, but soldiers began harassing them. Greek merchants said they were bad for business. These bowls are filthy. What have the villagers been eating? Must have the food stored somewhere. I should have a look around. These arms contain strong seasonings. This food is rancid. It smells like shit. It's completely unfit for eating. This gruel is not fit for rats, let alone people. The strong spices are not for taste. They are disguising the rot. I need to talk with whoever made it. <laughs> Tell me about the food you eat. Where does it come from? A merchant makes it for the poor here. It's not much, but at least it's something. We're thankful. You're welcome to try some. By the gods, no. I do not know how you stomach it. I need to talk to the merchant. Where can I find him? His house is to the south of the town market. I can take you. Let's visit this merchant of yours. I will follow you. May Sobek reward you for helping. I've passed many prosperous farms. People here seem to be doing well. Why are there so many poor? Ah, yes. Those are Greek farms. The Greeks pay lower taxes, so they prosper. Meanwhile, the Egyptian farmers are slowly forced from their lands. What happens to the land when the farmers leave? Once the owners die, by law the land is freed. If it's good land, the Greeks take it. If not, the desert takes it. Either way, Egyptians are left to starve. Many end up in the slums. Get out of the way! Move! Clear the way! Oh. Are you hiding? Come on, let me find you! Emir! Oh. Me This is the home of the merchant who provides the food. Even the cats here look better fed than the poor. The owner is obviously of substance. Not all Egyptians seem to be equal. Some are just more equal than others. This is awful! No wonder people are falling sick. Who would do this? It is time we met this poisonous merchant. Give him a taste of his own cooking. How may I help you? 
This is my home. Are you lost? You can explain to me why you have been poisoning the poor. My guess is so you can take their land. It is easy if they are dead. You're referring to the trouble in the slums? Whatever you've heard, I assure you, you misunderstand. I do what I can to help. I have seen your kitchen merchant. I know what you are doing. And I will see that you are brought to justice. Oh, I see. Well, that changes things. Now, you're trespassing. And I have the right to protect myself. Men! If you were reasonable, I wouldn't have to do this. Mind now! That's it! You die! This merchant of death was murdering the poor for their land. His love of money was their real sickness. Fire you won't miss him. The dead can rest. There will be no more money. Profaned the gods. His punishment will be an example and an atonement. His hands for thievery, his tongue for lying. But I'm telling the truth. Silence, boy. You will not speak. Priest, what does the boy done to deserve this? This has nothing to do with you. Back away. The boy will get what he deserves. I serve so bad. I serve so bad. I am a slave. Boy, what are you accused of? I was charged with ferrying two gold soul bags to Crocodilopolis. Just out of port, my ship sank by the lighthouse. I almost drowned. The statues were lost. I didn't steal them. Silence! And you, step back, Sahethi. Wait. Do not threaten me, Neb. I am a Magi. If the boy speaks the truth, I will find your gold sobex. If he lies, he is yours to deal with. I should check the big Octarim ship. Stealing from a god is the gravest of blasphemy. No punishment is too great for such a transgression. Sobek is swift to judge the profaners. His many teeth will devour the unworthy. This worthless boy is an example. He's a caution to all those who would blaspheme. Beware! Earthbreakers will have their just reward. No man is above Sobek's law. No priest is beyond retribution. Justice will be done. Let this example instruct you in obedience and faithfulness. This boy's punishment will teach us all piety. Examine your hearts. Judge yourselves before the gods judge you. Sobek is a healer to those who trust him, but his judgment swift to those who blaspheme. Be vigilant. Pay your offerings. Avoid the fate of this despicable boy.
dive was a good haul. The gold Sobek will bring a small fortune. That shipwreck might be hiding more. Hey now! You're finished! <laughs> golden statue of Sobek. It is beautiful. The boy tells the truth. A recent shipwreck. This could be it. A golden statue of Sobek. Beautifully made. Just as the boy said it would be. I should return these gold Sobeks to that odious priest. I have your precious golden Sobex. Your novice spoke the truth. This useless boy has been constant trouble. Many more punishments await him for his carelessness. Oh, your beast clothing is just a mask for cowardice! God, the gods are hate masks. This has nothing to do with you, Saheti. Crawl back into your desert hole! I am Medjai, you dishonorable dog. I have the applause. Your authority is removed. May you walk in the land of the blood. Hey! Going to cut you! What do I do now? The temple will not accept me. Sobek has left the fate of this gold with you. You can return to the temple or to your family. The choice is yours. May Sobek be with you. Whatever you do, do it honorably. Egypt needs priests who do not wear masks. What is this madness, old man? Your eyes have been ravaged. Yes, a manticore devoured them. A mythical beast stole your sight. With the face of a woman and the body of a lion. That is one ferocious lion. Quick, before she returns, take me to my friend Theramenes at the clinic. He will know what to do. Madness is your bedfellow. But I cannot leave you here to be eaten by beasts. I only went berry picking. There are many wild animals about. Do you not have a bow? A bow against a manticore? Ah, oh, 
Are you the griffin spiriting me off? Be still, Galenos. It is me, Bayek, your savior. Are we near, near the clinic, Bayek? I hope so. Ramenes. Yes, yes, is that Galenos? By the fates, what happened to him? I found him by the road, crying that the manticore took his eyes. And his wits along with them. I have honey and euphrasia, but the temple purloined my more exotic supplies. I've brought him this far, so what do you need? You'll help? Wonder of wonders, I will give you a list. See what the Ramanes can do with this. How is our patient? A babbling fool. We'll get no sense from him till I can relieve his pain. Silphium extract will do it. That Roman weed? Silphium is our weed, and because of the Romans, it's almost extinct. They process it at the depot north of here. Which is heavily guarded, I bet. Should be no problem for one as resourceful as you. <laughs> Should return this one the cure to the Ramanes. Oh, 
You are a marvel. I will bring our friend back to his senses. Not that he had that many to begin with. If I stumble across a mantico stalking the woods of Balagre, I will bring you its head. Now that I would welcome, my boy. They say that its venomous sting will paralyze a man instantly. I could have some use for that. Medicinally speaking, of course. <laughs> of course. Farewell, Feramines. Farewell, Bayak. And watch out for Manticores. like yourself, Magi. For the safety of Egypt, please, we must escape. Sent you. Apollodorus? I would not have betrayed Egypt. You serve Apollodorus? I am part of his divine manipulation of the threads. A viper in the long grass of Cyrenaica. We are compromised. I know not how or by who, but that is how the Centurion found me. He has a list of spies. Ah, not all men will stand up to torture as well as you. Find the Roman. See what information he has. He patrols the border towers. For Egypt. For a free Egypt!
by Hati at the East Roman fort. I should rescue him. Ibi, you are far from Siwa, my friend. Yes, Mejai. I could not stay there after what happened. I cried for the people we left behind. What is wrong with your girl, Apate, yes? Few months ago, she met a Greek lad. He was so earnest and idealistic. He filled her heart with rebellion, convinced her to help him cut out the Roman canker growing in our world. They were captured attacking the fort. Apate strode the same sand as Hemu. Our ancestors shared the Wahat. Where do the Romans have her now? There is a place on the road to Cyrene where they inflict the cruelest punishment. A road lined with dead rebels. Don't worry. I will bring Apate back to you, Ibi. Happens to filthy rats be true. Ubi has put the crucifixion site. A party must be here. This is the crucifixion site. A party must be here somewhere. Eadets will send reinforcements. We shouldn't linger here, Bayek. I feared it was you, Hepate. I could not stand by as the Roman contagion spread. You heard what they did in Siwa, Bayek. I saw it. You attacked the fort. Yes. The captain of the prisoner's camp, Severos, is a psychotic butcher. Every day finding new, sick ways to inflict suffering on our people. Then at night he goes who knows where to plot and plan. While Severos lives, the rebellion is nothing but sound and fury. It was your strength and spirit that Hemu loved the most. My days were filled with freedom then. Your boy and I hunted, laughed, lived. That is all I want for my children. Then I will kill the torturer, Apate. Look him in the eyes and make him understand that he's a shit-eater. I will gather my friends. If you attack the outpost, we'll join you. Find that shit-eater. I will round up what's left of the freedom fighters.
Azerbaijan is losing its greatest Nekatiya debt, Severus. Place, the shrine, it prickles with divine power. This place, the shrine, it prickles with divine power. The oracle is drawing me to her. I can feel it. Apollo's lion. Apollo's song, I speak with the voice of light. I have felt your presence in my visions, Eagle. Apollo spoke of you. The king cried when he killed the White Heart, for it was the huntress bewitched, pale and beautiful, with a halo of gold. Apollo bade Gaia cradle the king's sorrow a lake of tears high above the plains. The sun god drove his fist into the mountain, took his beloved inside, and spake, None shall seek you, none but the eagle. He will soar above the five cities with the halo of the huntress in his beak. Why do you call me eagle? Yours is the sacred relic, eagle. Find it? and expand your riches. A lake of tears high in the mountains. Apollo means me to find this halo of the Huntress. Strong and brave. Reminds me of Aya. A crown. This must be the halo from the prophecy. I thank Apollo for this sacred gift.
If the eagle spies the true Ram, the descendants of Ra will fall. When the Aten rises, those who bore the double crown will walk. The Macedon Rex will sink in the crocodile's tears. Maybe the lash will loosen your tongue. Enough! My workers are not to blame. Send me some soldiers with half a brain or we'll never find my Dioptra. General Agrippa will hear of this. A Roman standing up for Egyptians. Pathetic. Tell Agrippa I need real soldiers who will help me find these thieves. I'll scuttle back to your wine, you sacks of uselessness. Are you the one responsible for working my people to death? Your people? They are my people. I'm keeping them alive in the face of increasingly bad odds. But who are you, my Egyptian friend? Bayek of Siwa, protector of these people. Well, Bayek of Siwa, I am Vitruvius, and contrary to popular belief, not all Romans are your enemy. If you would help your people, then help me. Our tools have been stolen. My surveying tool, the Dioptra, specifically. Without it, construction has stalled on the aqueduct. The General's idiots believe my workers are to blame. Maybe I can look for this Dioptra. With it, this elevated river would flow into the farms of Cyrenaica. Talk to Dady up at the construction site. He used it last. Fortuna go with you, Bayek of Siwa. Bayek, my friend. Any luck? My position, Jere. Daddy. Oh, hey, this fiery coach. I, I, I did not take it. Please, do not kill me. Daddy, wait. Calm down. I won't hurt you. Just tell me where the Diopter is. It was lunchtime, and my wife brought me a fresh roasted chicken leg for lunch. Which was nice, as it has been an eon since I had... Sounds delicious, but get to the part about the Master's tool. Your lunch won't solve this crime. Oh, uh, I see. Well, I left the Diopter in the cave, and when I came back it was gone! Scobbled away by wolves, spirits, or worse. What does this Diopter look like? Like a brazier, made of three parts. A bit you see through, a bit you measure with. I will find it. Just try not to die of fright before then. Please, find the Dioptra. My head is so much better attached to my shoulders.
bandit den. Part of the missing surveying tool. tortured by the bandits. A touching letter. Abdi and Merope. Lovers torn apart by oppression. Reminds me of I and myself. Poor Abdi. I should look into this. He could be in trouble. He should... Be easy to find with a tattoo. Another piece of the tool. I should return to Vitruvius before the Romans make an example of Daddy. You have it? You have my Dioptra? I found it in a bandit camp above the aqueduct. Really? Some of my workers complained of hearing whispers from there, believed it was haunted. I was sure it was just superstitious nonsense. I dealt with it. Nothing will haunt you now, living or dead. Excellent. And now General Agrippa has no more reason to bully my workers. He's become more ambitious since Flavius returned from Siwa, and it is not a welcome change. Thank you, Bayek. You saved my... Our people's lives. I am in your debt. Fortuna smile on you, Vitruvius. Your work will help a lot of people in Serenica. Rot. That is the tattoo of Ankh. Ah, poor Habdi. There is no bracelet on him. His lover has no idea he is dead. And this sickens me. I must put to rest his car and return the bracelet. Oh. 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 
Hakti's wife will want this as a keepsake. Are you happy, beloved? I know why you're here, Magi. He's dead, isn't he, Hapti? I am sorry. There was a rebellion at the quarry. He. No, I don't want to know. He was always so hot-headed. How could he leave us this way? I found his bracelet. He meant for you to have it. What good is a bracelet? My child will grow up without a father. Thank you for telling me. You are a good man. But please, leave me alone to my grief. I'm just another woman the Romans have made a widow. This is the war no one speaks of. Thank <laughs> you. 